something important goes on around you in a deployed environment, it is essentially worthless unless the following three things happen. You need to be aware of what happened, you need to collect as much information about it as possible, and you need to up-channel the information and report it in a sensible way. Only after these three things happen can the information have any value. Awareness is a mindset. It's part of our mission. Unfortunately, we as a society are largely out of practice. Let's be honest. We have a smartphone culture engrossed in our devices, not present in the moment, and not paying attention to the world around us. However, in a deployed environment, this just doesn't work. To put it simply, we are getting paid to pay attention to what is going on around us. So, pay attention. We know to call 911 in an emergency as soon as possible to get help. With 911, a dispatcher asks a series of questions so they can get the information they need to respond. But in a deployed location, we don't have that luxury. We have to take down as much information as we can about the situation. This information collection is a skill we all need to develop. It's a way of thinking through something so that you can take note of any detail that might matter. Depending on the situation, there are several methods of reporting those details up the chain of command. If you take note of everything you can during the collection step, you will easily be able to make any report needed. So what should you be looking for? Good question. The commander simply doesn't have time to hear from everyone all the time. So there are specific areas or items that you will need to focus on and report wherever applicable. These are known as Commander's Critical Information Requirements, or CCIRs. Types of CCIRs, given even higher priority, are Priority Information Requirements, or PIRs. These will be more specific and focused in nature. PIRs could be requests for specific information about enemy personnel, equipment, or activities. You are the eyes and the ears of the Commander, who can't be where you are. CCIRs and PIRs allow everyone to be looking for the intel that is important to the commander. When observing during daylight, scan the area close to you and then scan out to the maximum range you need to observe. If it's a large area, your eyes will naturally want to jump to things that stick out. Mentally divide the area into pieces so you can methodically scan over every part without missing something. During darkness, you see better after your eyes adjust to the low light. To do this immediately, like when you walk into a dimly lit movie theater, close your eyes for 10 seconds and then open them. You could also use a red light to transition to the darkness. When trying to look at a particular object, another trick for your eyes is to look slightly away from the object you're interested in and either focus just off of the object or around the object instead of looking directly at it. In light or darkness, Check for evidence of hostile or suspicious activity by looking and listening for things that don't belong. Movement, outlines, shadows, glare, and contrasting colors are all examples of things to check for. Now let's consider various information that you may need to report. Again, your awareness to these items is a mindset. When describing a hostile or suspicious activity, focus on the acronym SALUTE for reporting information. What is the size of the group? What activity are they engaged in? What is their location? And is there a uniform or any marking that identifies their unit? What time did this happen? And what equipment do they have? You will also want to take note of your current status. For this, you should use the acronym ACE or LACE for reporting information. How much water or liquid does everyone have? How much ammunition does everyone have left? Are there any casualties? And are there any threats, damage, or losses to your equipment? In addition, you should report your call sign, frequency, or number in case they need to contact you. Indicate what impact this will have on your mission and what protective measures you have taken. Also, how critical is this information if you had to give it a recommended priority? Each of the ACE-LACE acronyms are also reported with colors representing the general status. For liquid and ammunition, green means you have plenty left, yellow means around half of your supply remains, and red means you are out 
or nearly out. For casualties, green means you have no injuries. Yellow is for injuries that are not life-threatening, and red is for a critical injury or injuries that prevent mobility. For equipment, green means there is no change in status. Yellow is used to indicate some damage, and red is for lost or damaged equipment preventing mission success. One other report that is often used is called the Nine Line Report. This report is used for reporting IEDs, unexploded ordnance, or requesting medevac. Wherever possible, fill out a blank version of these reports before calling them in. When you call it in, you have three primary methods available. Messenger, which is the slowest but most secure, wire or telephone, which is not mobile but more secure than radio, and then radio, which is fast and mobile but is the least secure. Whenever possible, use a secure radio. Be aware of security, but if it's critical, get it up channel now, any way you possibly can. Remember, every airman has the potential of providing information of intelligence value that is critical to accomplishing the mission, but it's worthless if you don't follow the three primary steps. First, be aware of your surroundings and what to look for. Second, collect the information needed thoroughly and efficiently. And third, report the information as directed as soon as possible.